this new NBA era, there are basketball players that if they were playing right now, wow, you would see crazy numbers. And I'm just going to get right into it, guys. Drum roll, please. I'm hyping it all up. Allen Iverson, pound for pound, the GOAT. Yes, I said it. What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Dez360, and you're tuning in to Hoop Scoop, where we talk everything basketball, everything hoops. I'm a former professional basketball player in the Philippines and in Mexico, and now I'm just connecting with you guys, creating this platform where everyone can come here freely and uh, voice their opinions on basketball facts, basketball uh, stats, and anything basketball related. So if you're trying to get better at basketball, if you wanna learn some new moves, I have some tutorials, I'm sharing all that information that I have. If you are a fan and you just wanna comment on certain players, rising stars, NBA legends, whatever it may be, uh, this is the place to do it. So today guys, before we start, make sure to hit that like button, comment, subscribe if you like all this, because we're gonna keep it going. It's a weekly platform where I'll come here, we'll talk about certain things, and I'm gonna rant. Ah, shouts out Kevin Durant, but I'm about to rant because this new NBA era, there are basketball players that if they were playing right now, wow, you would see crazy numbers and I'm just going to get right into it, guys. Drum roll, please. I'm hyping it all up. Allen Iverson, pound for pound, the GOAT. Yes, I said it. What does that mean? Because everyone's like, what? What are you talking about? Like, I, I posted a, on the community tab, I posted a poll talking about like certain players and who would dominate in today's era and Allen Iverson won that poll and that's cool. But a lot of people were saying like, nah, Allen Iverson's not that good. <sighs> now the rant begins. Okay, Allen Iverson is literally, <laughs> He's first off, he's the reason why every NBA player, every person in this culture, like a lot in the basketball culture, I'm obviously going on a limb here, but he's really the reason why we all have tattoos. Allen Iverson was the first guy to wear tats. Now, does that make him a basketball player? It makes him more than a basketball player. This is why I'm saying he's the pound for pound goat because what was he, 160 pounds? He's like my height, six foot. Uh, I, I, I know a couple friends that met him and they said he was a little taller than six foot, but look, the things AI was doing, oh my gosh. That's why they, they call him the answer. <laughs> so AI came into the league. First off, all the controversy like leading up to him getting to the league was crazy. Um, and unfortunately, I don't know what that was for. Uh, it's super controversial, don't even wanna get too into it. All I can say is he overcame all that, made it to the NBA, and his rookie year, he was going off already, dropping 40. Um, hitting Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen with crazy crossover moves, right? The infamous crossover on MJ, which MJ was like, you know, and I Iverson admitted it. He said that MJ was this close to blocking it. And um, the thing about AI is, the reason why he's pound for pound go also is just like, what he was doing was unnatural. I don't even know if we'll ever see that again. I, I'm, I'm six foot guard and man, I got crossover, I got moves, but AI, wow, dude. He was dunking on people like um, Ali Oub, tip jam. He has some nasty tip slams, you know? So, okay, but what? why does it make him the GOAT? Let's, let's bring out the numbers. We always start with the numbers and then we'll go on to everything else. Hey, I'm ranting, I'm going off. So I hope you guys enjoy. So 1996, when he entered the league, <laughs> dang, they, they straight gave him the keys. 40 minutes a game. <laughs> and he averaged 23 and a half points. Seven and a half, what is that, assists? Wow, AI was actually passing the rock. And then he would follow that up, 22 points the next year, 27 points the following year, 28 points. Then 2000, 2001, arguably the greatest run any basketball player has ever had. Like, I just remember going to school every day and being in like elementary school and just hearing about hey, Allen Iverson, Allen Iverson. And I would, it would really annoy me actually. But um, then I started watching his games and I'm like, dude, homeboys everywhere on the court. Homeboys scrapping. They used to say, count how many times Allen Iverson falls on the ground. Like, that's crazy. And, and it would be like at least 10 times in a game. And he's 160. So he's playing hurt. 
He's not making excuses. Super tough as nails. Um, I think, let's see, pull up some stats. Allen Iverson was the only, I think the only NBA player to average 25 points um, and two steals like throughout the whole playoffs. I'll pull up the, the numbers, but let's get back to 2000 and 2001. He averaged 31 points both seasons. And he's inf he infamously had that move. Um, he made it to the finals and crossed up Tyron Lue and won game one of the finals, which was iconic. Like, if it weren't for Kobe and Shaq, would a AI be an NBA champion? I think so. The reason why I believe Allen Iverson would average at least 40 points a game. He can score from anywhere. And look, these numbers he was dropping... His coach was who? Larry Brown, a defensive minded coach. So imagine if you have a defensive minded coach and you're averaging 30, ball, 30 a game and your coach is a defensive minded coach. Now we have the NBA today is just all about offense and that's fine. The game evolves. People want to see high number uh, points being scored. I mean, back then in the, in the early uh, late 90s, early 2000s, final scores would be like 80, um, 80 points. Uh, 90 points, 100 points, maybe. And then now the new NBA, it's like 150. So AI, imagine him on, on a team with like a Mike D'Antoni or like, you know how James Harden was going off. Imagine that AI would be getting the same thing. Um, let's, what do you guys think? Would Allen Iverson average 40 points a game in today's era? Another thing, Allen Iverson would get to the free throw line so many times. So I just really think like AI compares his game to like a Russell Westbrook style. Um, but I just think he would take it to a whole nother level. Like people, there's a reason why Kobe Bryant studied Allen Iverson. Like he would study Allen Iverson. That's the, the one player in the league that he'd keep an eye on. Cause he knew like the goatness. Of course, T-Mac was vicious. And, but AI, come on guys. Let's see what else. And then just, just, uh, what else? So let's look it up. Let's look it up. Allen Iverson, boom, 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 boom. What else? Okay. Allen Iverson, MVP. He has a league MVP under his belt. Um, he's what, an 11 time all-star. On the court, say what you want, uh, the whole practice thing and all that. But on the court, AI, man killer breaking ankles first off another reason why he's a goat that crossover changed the game changed the game everyone's trying to do the crossover after that like yeah you had your tim hardaways and alan iverson took the crossover to another level so just how people say oh steph curry took the three ball to another level which he did by launching from like all over the place off the dribble ai took ankle breakers to another level ai took the league to another level people were tuning in because they wanted to see what ai would do like sounds crazy but you know how rodman people were tuning in for rodman to see the crazy hair or to see like even the off the court antics like it was a whole thing alan iverson took that up another notch but he was just being himself right being himself and that's really what it was like and he got ridiculed for that <laughs> can't even talk and he was being himself and he got ridiculed for that so you got on the court killing it off the court everyone wants to know what ai is doing you know um the braids the tats like being you so the message of just letting people hey it's okay to be you um i think that one that's what makes you a goat as well like one of the greatest uh or if not the greatest and then pound for pound like lebron even said it if you break nba players down like for pound for pound inch for inch Allen Iverson had everything. So that's it, y'all. He averaged two, you know, just, just crazy. What am I missing? I'm sure I'm missing stuff. And the real, real Allen Iverson, like additional Allen Iverson fans are gonna, are gonna comment and, and, and share some stuff. But let's see what he did. What else? And I'm not talking about like afterwards when he got traded to Denver. He was all right, still killing it in Denver, but it was tough. Then I'm talking about like 1996 to like 2006, because actually if we go back to the numbers and look at it 
from 1996 till 2000 and Allen Iverson averaged 30 33 points a game in 2005 in Philly so he played all the way um he played in Philly until 2006 so I'm talking about that stretch his last season how crazy is this his last season as a Philadelphia 76er he averaged he only played uh, 15 games but he averaged 31 points and before that he played 72 games <laughs> 33 points and seven and a half assists so come on guys this new and the new nba ai is killing it and, and you could say oh why there are better rim defenders no no there isn't there no there aren't like he went up against shaq obviously not every night he went up against kobe t-mac like this guy scored on george like no no man there's no there's no way i'm sorry but let's see let's see if we can find anything else here that that might uh change my mind but it's not and then his height like they could say whoever else who else like no, no one at six foot is doing this even like a cp3 no <laughs> I think that's it guys that that's pretty much my ai rant like it's more about just watch his game you know see what he did out there on the court um if you can find i'll post comp you know i'll post videos and highlights but homeboy i really think 40 easily easily how i'll do a little breakdown okay three three alan iverson's career high is 60 points by the way he scored that against the magic and he's averaged 30. um obviously he was shooting a lot but nah man free throw line no problem and then and then buckets like the gameplay is faster now remember back then the, the mentality of basketball players wasn't like hey i need a guy out there and score 50 and it was like let's win we're gonna play more defense like now it's it's just 150 to 140. <laughs> so if that's the case alan iverson 50 averaging it all right guys am i tripping i don't think so and uh, I'd like to hear from you guys if you've watched Allen Iverson before. I need some Allen Iverson people talking to me, voicing their opinions. If you think I am tripping, let me hear from you. Dez360, look, we're out here. We're talking basketball. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch y'all later. Peace. Woo, woo.